Okay, I saw that. What well, was that like Gumby? Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray, this one's called The Meeting for the PC of course. I'll leave a link down below in the description as usual. You can check it out, free to play indie horror game. You can't go wrong with that. As a quick disclaimer, I am blind. I've got no center vision at all, just peripheral. So if I can do this, there's no reason you can't do it as well. Let's go out and see what the game dev says about this game real quick and I'll meet you back here. You wake up inside a mysterious place that doesn't seem to have a way out. Where are you? How did you manage to get there? Perhaps your questions will be answered if you follow the path. Let's see what happens with this game. That was a real short description, but I don't mind. As long as the game entertains me, it's always like a haunted house experience to me. I don't know. For those of you that are tuning in because you like indie horror games, you're probably like me where it's just like a haunted house experience. Before we begin, let's bring in our co-host, Satan the Dark Lord and Savior himself. It's good to be here. I really enjoy doing these little LPs with you, buddy. Oh, I'm glad you do. So, yeah, it's called The Meeting. Yeah, I heard you. I was sitting next to you, buddy. You need to play the part with me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, The Meeting. Oh, I didn't even know. Even though I'm omniscient and know everything. So what kind of meeting is it going to be? I think this is probably going to be one of those games where you the end result is your death. That's all I needed to hear. I already got my popcorn here. Let me sprinkle a little extra innocent Christian blood on there. What do you mean extra innocent? Well, I usually have innocent Christian blood, but I want to sprinkle extra innocent what makes it extra well you know how you call yourself a christian and i'm always like oh i'm a christian no you're not yeah i know that well these are people that are in hell currently claiming that they're a christian even after a couple years of pure torture it's it's weird so yeah we, we joke about it me and the boys it's extra innocent christian blood <laughs> it tastes good i bet it does you should take a handful of popcorn here i always bring a big old bucket of it no i'm good you sure yeah i'm not into blood all right all right all right well I'll eat this and you join your meeting, whatever that's going to be. Yeah, well, you heard the big man himself. Without further ado, let's do this. Now this game is silent. Uh-oh. The lighting. Oh. I can hear myself. I must be a girl. We got a note here. Okay, I know I'm blind, but even taking a picture, curse is hard for me to read. That actually looks like it's drawn well, but I think it says, welcome home, sweetie. So space bar is the interact key. It's usually E or left click, but sometimes it is space bar. So what meeting do I got? I'm just gonna hit space bar on every thing that I think is interacting. Look at that counter. I'm so jealous that backsplash, my kitchen really needs a remodel. It's just so expensive. I'm going to do most of the work myself, but for some things, like I would never cut stone or anything. You need to hire it out. Let's see here. The fireplace, little TV. I feel very tall. This, I think it's just the field of view. Oh, there's a bathroom. It's probably in here, whatever it is. Oh, I didn't even see this. The kids are sleeping. Try to be quiet. Okay. Okay. I did not see that. I'm kind of uh, embarrassed that that happened. All right, so I got to be quiet. Here's another note just appeared. I'm preparing something special for them. You still remember what it is, right? Uh-oh. What is she preparing? 
She's preparing a cake for our beautiful future. I guess that's in reference to the kids. Oh. How is this stuff appearing? Listen, I mean, it's cool you made a cake, but I've never seen one like that. Let's see, can we do anything to it? This game runs pretty good. Okay. I don't see any papers. Aha. Okay, so I was just making fun of the cake. It's been a while since I've created made a cake before, and uh, I made quite a mess before you arrived. Okay, I saw that. What was that like, Gumby? That was cool though. I wish they added a little, you know, jump scare kind of noise. That would have been good. When the lights went out or something, and you turned, and it was there. Just the little touches. All right, is there a mess? I have a feeling my wife is a crazy lunatic. Anyways, I would make sure, she basically saying I would make sure, I, I would do anything to keep them safe. Uh-huh. But you had to take everything away from me. Oh no. I should have been worried on the first note. If she's a lunatic, I should have been calling the police. What's going to happen? And the lights went out. Oh, that's good. I'm going to kill you. I'm just, I saw the note at the door. I'm just kind of looking around. Well, that light looks like it's still on. Well, they all look like they're still on, but the lights in the room went out. Oh, boy. She's going to kill me. Where are the kids, by the way? Okay, so what, what did I do? Cheat on her or something? Are you happy with yourself? Well, if that's just her, I mean, just call the cops. Can't tell. Probably nobody there, but... Alright, let's see. Oh, here's a note right here by the phone. What is it gonna say? I cut your phone line. Nice try. Okay, she's never gonna forgive us or let us rest in peace. I bet she's gonna make me rest in peace. Okay, I, the game just crashed. And I was gonna go and do an outro, but... The game continued. Holy. Okay, that's awesome. Now, let me tell you something. That scared the crap out of me. Oh. I'm still shook over that. Like, it was in my face and it screamed and it took you off guard because the door was open. It was quiet. I didn't think she'd, like, slither up in front of me. Oh, my God. Oh, I hear stuff, too. Yeah, it's still me. I'm David, but I got girly shoes on, apparently. Oh, my God. That was... We now regret to report the murder of a woman and a man near the street. According to letters kept inside the house, the man, David Tyrone, had just moved to Florida, but after discovering the address of his ex-wife, Janice Menendez, had stalked her and attacked around midnight. According to authorities, the wife had struggled against the man for a long period of time until she was killed to death by David. Once police arrived at the destination, they found Jess's body on her bedroom floor, while David took his own life on the bathroom. Both kids were found safe in their bedroom. Wow, okay, so that wasn't what I expected. I killed her. So she came back. That was her rotted remains coming to kill me. And now I'm in purgatory. Or on my way to hell. Look at the texturing. I like this. This is cool. This is really good. When a game on indie side, I gotta say this. When you play an indie game, and if you've seen if you've seen any of my videos, most of the indie horror games, 
they crash on the end. You know, I'll edit that out so you don't really experience that like me where the game just stops. It just uh, closes. It doesn't freeze. It just closes. Well, normally when you go back in, you know, it's you just start the game again. And that's just how it was created. They didn't make a proper ending. But going back into a game and finding there's more, I like that a lot. Back in 2002, David and Jesse were a happy couple with their own ups and downs. But according to Jesse's father, David would usually have frequent aggressive bursts of anger where his wife would end up getting hit quite frequently. After David physically assaulted both his wife and son, Jesse had enough and had David arrested for his abuse. The court agreed in a divorce where the mother would keep the custody of the children and David was not allowed to go near them. To make sure he would never see them again, Jesse moved out of the country and traveled back to Florida to live with her parents. Well, that's interesting. So I ended up just killing her. I moved to where she was and just took her out. That's creepy. While Jesse lived happily with his parents in Florida, David stayed back in in a very poor and not suitable house while living in denial for all the actions he committed he would never let them go he sent them letters pretending like nothing was wrong with them but he knew deep inside that things were never gonna go back to what they were and while that made him very sad david was also very angry i like how he's embellishing a story too I thought it was going to be a cheap indie horror game, and I really like this. The persisting anger is like picking up a piece of hot coal with the intention of throwing it someone. It is always those who lift the stone that ends up burnt. Got real silent. Well, I'm about to get got. I know it. I'm about to kick it. Okay, so it said it was the end, and I, I started the game, and then it went right to the end screen, and it closed. Then I started the game again, and now I'm here. What is this game? This is great. And... The end screen was like, that was our body on the floor. And, the, you know, we were kind of in a, a purgatory. But our body was there the whole time, dead. This is so interesting. I love how it's weird like this. I wonder if it was hard to code this way. this okay so this is david i'm assuming it's a note to the wife or the ex-wife but i wonder if this is something that he was writing when he killed them he just continued contact even though he knew they were dead is eerie. This one's from David as well. Yeah, I think this is to his son. Wasn't it Jesse was the son? And it's just saying, hey, I'm getting enough money to come down and see you, like I promised. Knowing that he'd already um, killed everybody. Or did he just kill the wife? I forget if he killed the wife and the son. 
That might have been uh, just the wife. Good sounds. I'm a sucker for the sounds. All right, and it's just a letter about meeting Jesse. I think that says Jesse at the top. Forgive me if I'm wrong and it's the wife, but I think it's the son. What's pittering around in the darkness? Something shushed the demon baby. Okay, so this is definitely from the ex-wife saying how the court said, don't talk to me or my kids. If you send another note, I'm going to report you. Okay, well, this isn't going to go well. Well, we all know it didn't go well. Something's going to happen. Now it's a creepy letter from David about meeting her. He's just ignoring the response. I don't understand what you mean. I'm going to kill you. I'm not crazy. Something in the distance. Now, this is probably the day he killed her. But it, looking forward to our meeting. Yeah, I don't think there's a setup meeting. Only in your head. Jesse opened the door. Ooh, there's blood there. Yeah, that she he had her his meeting with her all right. Uh-oh. Yep, it's begun. Sounds like something's dragging itself. I'm going to wait a second and see if it kills me. No, I think it's for effect, but that's good. There's no sprinting. I'm trying. <gasps> I saw you. 
That was good. Bring on the spooks. And just says why. That's probably from her. I don't think there's a reason. I'm just crazy. Oh, the color is going a little redder. And redder. I was just waiting. Oh, wow. It's getting really red. So, yeah, we're going to hell. I'm surprised we haven't gone there already. You took everything from me. Yes, I did. Ooh. Oh, it's getting a little claustrophobic. Isn't that like closer? I like it. It's very subtle. I like this. I'm getting, I'm waiting to get done in again. I didn't expect this. What did you get by following us to hell? Well, you took me down here, woman. Oh God. I just noticed that. They're going to get me. live your life, would you? No, I apparently held a big grudge. I keep thinking something's going to come up behind me. They just want to give me a high five. <laughs> I like the animation. Just kill me. Ouchie, we were happy without you. Why'd you come back? That probably... Well, no, that wouldn't have been a letter. Well, maybe it would have. That would have set me off on a murder spree, though. I swear I see something in the shadows.
I'll make sure you rot in here with me. Why did she go to hell? I would think she'd be in heaven. This guy is going to go to hell. Is the ceiling getting lower? I think it is. The ceiling's actually getting lower. That's really good. think this is it finally you wanted to see me well then dot 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 are going out. Come meet me. Okay, it is it really over? I didn't see her. I think all the lights went out and it was just implied she was running at us. Okay, that's a nice cozy little way to end it. All right, guys. Well, that was the meeting. Now I understand what the meeting is. Don't forget down below in the description, there's a link to this game. You can check it out for yourselves. Free to play. That was really cool. I liked it. I liked how when the game stopped and you'd start it back up, it would continue on. And you had, what, two purgatory events. That was really good. It was interesting. It was kind of uh, something I didn't expect. And it took me down a road that was weird. It had spooky horror. And a uh, storyline was uh, pretty violent where he just killed the wife. I don't know if he killed the kids too, but I think he probably just killed her. I know the news thing was saying stuff. I just don't remember specifics, but Jesse was the girl, the ex-wife so satan what did you think of this game you got to go to the pits of eternal darkness and die twice so that was pretty good in my book and i liked it it was interesting but let's get the review out of the way i don't want to spoil anything okay um you want to know what i think then i'm assuming oh yeah i like our little bit here where you give your little review and then the real man the real man which is me by the way in case you didn't know i i get what you're saying that's right boy but yes what do you balamore what do you give this game as a review score for me I give this game a 7.5. I give it a 7.5 because it was weird, which is up my alley. It was spooky and it was interesting. It, it really, the way the game played out, I, I liked what it did there. Okay, okay. That's pretty respectable. 7.5. All right. Well, it's my turn. You know what that means. I do. All right. It's the time we've all been waiting for. Okay, okay, Satan, Satan, Dark Lord and Master of all above and below. Oh, Mighty One, what do you give this game as a rating from 1 to 10? Don't forget to tell the people the rules. Oh, yes, 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 of course. We're Hold on, let me do that again. Okay, okay. So, game developers, if you score a 4.0 or below out of 10, your soul and body is both dragged in the 
inferno pits of eternal damnation for all evermore ever and ever there is never an end eternity very implied there and it will be instant because it's such a disgusting disgrace to the dark one did i did i do that right yes more that actually sounded good all right let's get to it okay the pressure all right game developer the meeting out of 10, I give this a score of... Seven point five. You really dragged that out. Well, it's like, you know, when you watch a game show on TV and you're waiting for the, the big reveal and they kind of drag it out and you're so annoyed you just want them to say it. <laughs> That's what I just did. 7.5, very respectable. I'm learning to love these LPs like Balamore does, so yeah, we're, we're thinking alike there, bro. Don't call me bro. W what would you prefer? Just say buddy. I I'd rather hear buddy than bro. Okay, bro. You didn't even listen to me. I'm the dark one. I can do anything I want. I'm just joking. All right, buddy. There, that's more like it. Yeah, very respectable. 7.5. All right. 7.5 all around. That means the developer's soul is... It is safe. Oh, that's awesome. It is safe. So game dev, good job. Keep working on games and make better stuff. Use this as a stepping stone tool. I hope a lot of these people, that's what they do. They continue on making more games, getting better and better and better. Yeah, me too. So can you answer a question for me? Sure. Where's that little hot wife of yours at? you leave her out of this. You've been on her case for a little while. She's a little hot piece. What can I say? The devil knows. The devil knows. Well, do you have anything else to say about this game? No, no, it was good. I liked it. We're going to do any more tonight? Yeah, probably one more. All right. Well, let me go reheat some popcorn while you, you know, sign us out. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. This was really good. I truly did enjoy this. And it was spooky. It got me twice. The In the darkness when she comes up screaming, that got me. But what really got me is in the beginning there when it's... She, her corpse body or whatever that was slithered up in front of me and screamed. Ugh. So anyways, until next time, guys, as always, later.